Hello everyone, how y'all doing? So, after a huge delay, we finally made it to Montenegro. We sure did. Oh, you're here. <laughs> well, that was totally unplanned. <laughs> <laughs> the car rental company picked us up from the airports and off we went. first night we stayed in Podgorica, the capital, and it was a challenge. It was Sunday and everything was closed. Of course we didn't know. Supposedly the mall was open and the parking lot is open, but the actual stores are all closed. Saved by the gas station. Yeah, now the problem is we don't have data to check our way home. So I don't know how we'll find our apartment, but we'll see if we find out. We'll just go with the flow. I'm sure we'll find it. You're an amazing driver. Uh... <laughs> we ended up finding this perfect spot for a quick drink and we headed home because we were really in need of some rest. On day two, Rui found this beautiful location for a specific photo we really wanted to take, so we woke up really early <laughs> and drove all the way to Kotor, where we would later have our eight-hour boat trip. The tour was organized by 360 Monte, we're gonna leave their website in the description down below, and it was an eight-hour boat trip, as I said, with Milos as our amazing tour guide, and we'd do it all again now if we could. These are tunnels that were used to hide NATO submarines during the Second World War. Obviously, the entrances were covered with loads of bushes, so it was hard for the enemy to spot them. Throughout the day, we stopped to visit museums, to swim, and, very important, to eat. <laughs> On day three, we started off very early again to produce content and to avoid crowds, and we went to visit the Sveti Stefan Islet, where you can find a five-star hotel resort that is currently closed, and it has some beautiful beaches. After that, we turned the cameras off and enjoyed the beach for a few hours before exploring the old city and having lunch there. interview with Mr. Hui. Hi guys, it's my pleasure to be here with you today. Mm -hmm. So, what brought you here? Huh? What brought you here? I don't know, but this is just one of the most spectacular places we haven't ever seen. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I was very curious about it. I mean, building a house is already mind-blowing. <laughs> building a monastery inside a mountain. It's insane. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Hui. You're and welcome. We hope see you later. To, yeah, we hope to see you very soon. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, back to you. See you. Cheers, mate. Cheers. It's so funny. We, ta we, we taste. We toast. We toast with water, with food, coffee. Seven up. Seven up. With whatever. Everything but alcohol. Yeah. It 
was a rainy day, so we took the morning to rest. After lunch, the sun came out, so we enjoyed the pool and then decided to tick one location from our bucket list. The Church of Our Lady of Remedy. A minor detail was the fact that to get there we had to climb 650 steps, but <laughs> that's just a minor detail. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you so, so much for all your support here on Instagram, everything. It's insane. Thank you so much. We love this country. We're definitely going back and we can't wait to share with you our next adventures. Please make sure you click that subscribe button and see you very soon. Bye. See you soon, guys. Oh. Bye. <laughs> you scared me.